everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I'm gonna do another what I eat in a day, gluten free. If you guys are returning, hello, hi, how are you? Um, just to do a little like disclaimer, I am not celiac. I have not actually been officially diagnosed celiac. I believe that I am gluten intolerant, um, but I have been diagnosed with GERD. I have seen a doctor, I have done all the procedures for those endoscopy, CAT scan, everything, and that was my official diagnosis. So um, my diet kind of goes a little bit different because I have more of an upper GI issue instead of a lower GI. I have not done the celiac test yet because honestly I heard that it's a pain. And I don't know if I'm in the mood to do that. I heard you have to like eat gluten for like two weeks and I'm like, ugh. So I'm just letting you guys know, kind of take the recipes as you know, what I actually have. I do eat as if I'm celiac, but like I've never had an issue with cross-contamination and I know some people with celiac, it's really bad depending on what their actual allergy is and how their body handles it. So everybody's body's different. So I just wanna let everybody know, please go see a doctor. Do not rely on me to, you know, give you any type of advice or anything like that. Um, this is purely for recipe ideas. So please let that be the takeaway from this. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating today, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So if you would like to see what I eat in a day gluten-free, then go ahead and keep on watching. I'm sorry that I'm under such yellow light. The light is literally like right there. <laughs> so today for breakfast, uh, we're gonna probably either be making French toast or my banana pancakes, but I was gonna put a little bit of a twist on it. So I think we're gonna do the banana pancakes and then at my next what I eat in a day, which I think I'm gonna film tomorrow, will be French toast. So let's go ahead and do the banana pancakes. I have made this in my breakfast video. Breakfast video, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere. Um, we're gonna do this one a little bit different though. I'm in the mood for uh, chocolate. <laughs> ladies and um, I have some hazelnuts that I found in my cupboard that I didn't even know that I had I guess I was probably gonna make something one day and then I didn't end up doing it so yeah we're gonna make that recipe yeah so we're gonna add some dark chocolate chips and some hazelnuts on top afterwards I think I don't know come along with me I'll show you. So the main reason that I want to make banana pancakes is because they're starting to look like this and they're ready, which I have been waiting for. And then I found some dark chocolate chips. I want to say that these are the, um, the vegan ones. I don't think that there's any milk in this, but um, you guys can buy the normal ones. I just bought these because I was trying to get in and out of the store and I was already in the gluten-free section and I didn't feel like walking around the entire store so I just grabbed these but usually um, I use honestly anything that says gluten-free I will use it it doesn't matter if it's um, a healthy one or you know whatever um, I don't care if it's vegan nut free all of that but if you guys have allergies to to that these are kind of the safe bet they are like completely allergy like safe so I recommend these when I was vegan, I use these a lot. So yeah, and they have milk chocolate ones. And then we are going to use hazelnuts. So I'm hoping that this is kind of like a Nutella type of pancakes. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, we're just gonna do everything the same. So I'm gonna kind of rush through that part. I'm gonna kind of speed that part through, showing once again, kind of how I make it, but I go more in depth in my um, breakfast video. So like I said, I'll link that and um, I'll kind of show you the rest of the process afterwards. So let's do it. So this is gonna be just like in my breakfast video. It's gonna be oats ground into flour. It's gonna be some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, two eggs. We do about a fourth a cup of applesauce. I do unsweetened, you guys don't have to. You guys can do the other one. Um, and then we do one banana and then we mix it all together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, I think it's two tablespoons of dark chocolate chips, and then I'm gonna add about another two tablespoons of hazelnuts. So if you guys see me doing a voiceover, it's because obviously I talked way too much in this, so. <laughs> um, and then you wanna heat up your pan and pour it on. Now this mixture can be very thick, so try to spread it out as best as you can, and then um, just kind of 
keep an eye on them. I was having such a hard time flipping these. I suck at making pancakes. Like, no joke, waffles are my jam because there's a waffle maker. But um, I suck at making pancakes. So I'm going to kind of, like, cut this completely. Like, it's oh, it's butchered. These clips are horrible. But it's because I don't know how to flip them ever. So, yeah. Enjoy watching me struggle for a quick second. And then you're going to see, like, oh, look, it's cut. And then it's cut and then it's cut <laughs> they might look a little bit um on the darker side and it's only because the chocolate and stuff they start to melt and then you know you're, i'm trying to move them around but promise they're still good still great tasted great and you're gonna see me oh i'm sorry and we top this with hazelnuts a little bit more of the dark chocolate and then some maple syrup got my big old thing of water right here hopefully again i'm in focus Sorry if you see all the light in the back. And then we're gonna eat. Hmm. It kinda has a Nutella taste because of the hazelnut. But I don't know. It's not bad. Um, I think the banana throws it off a tiny bit, but still good. So usually this meal would more be like a treat for me. I usually don't go this sweet. I'm not that big into sweet stuff, sweet stuff unless it's like that time of the month but still good the more i'm eating it the more i like it <laughs> i'm starving and we can't tell i want to say it's like 10 o'clock right now and i usually get up at four so i've been starving since <laughs> since four o'clock and then um, I go for a run and stuff before I drink coffee and then I go for a run. So by the time I'm done like with everything, dude, I'm starving. You'll see me either my next snack or lunchtime. Okay, it's lunchtime now and I'm just gonna make something kind of quick and easy. Um, I did not take a shower, but I did put on a face but I just filmed my intro and I realized that my hair is greasy, so we're gonna keep the hat on. Um, so today I've really been in the mood for turkey burgers lately. Sorry if you can hear my dog clicking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been really in the mood for turkey burgers lately. So for, really quick, for dinner I have out some chicken. I'm gonna let them defrost a little bit and then I'm gonna throw some of them in the, um, in a pot and I'm gonna let it boil because tonight I think we're having chicken taquitos. Taquitos. You know what's funny is I'm Mexican and I can't pronounce Spanish words for to save my life. And then I usually take out buns when I'm in the mood for this. I always have these on hand because I usually always have turkey burgers or like normal bur burgers. Wow. All the time. So <laughs> um yeah, so I'm gonna let these defrost a little bit. And then I have these. These are the turkey burgers that I use. It is gluten-free right there. And I'm just gonna heat these up on the stove. I think I'm just gonna do one. I'm not that hungry. Honestly, I usually skip lunch. I mostly just like have like a snack or two. But today um, I'm actually cooking for you guys. So I'm not really that hungry. Otherwise I would add Something like these lovely babies. These are also gluten-free right there, tater tots. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not that hungry. And dinner, it's about one o'clock or so, 1.30. So dinner's gonna be probably about like five. So I'm not that hungry. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of cook that up. So what I usually do with the buns is I just kind of throw them in and then just kind of babysit them a little bit. 
just so that they don't get too crispy, but honestly, just throw them in. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Um, yeah, so pretty much with this, it's just gonna be salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna wait for these, and it should be, like I said, quick and easy. That's it. Usually these turkey burgers take maybe like 10 minutes to cook, maybe less than that. So should be pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, if you guys want to, you know, spruce it up a little bit more, you guys definitely can, whatever you like to add. If you guys have the time to like bacon and all that stuff, yeah, go for it. Um, like I said, today I'm just not that hungry. Otherwise I would, but so we're going to wait for this to cook. We're going to wait for these to thaw. And then we're gonna assemble. It's kind of the same thing as my, um, one of my what I eat in a day is I have a hamburger. It's kind of the same thing. It's just usually my husband will barbecue hamburgers and I can't barbecue to save my life. So we do it on the stove. So I'll be back in a little bit to show you how we assemble. Okay, so really quick, I lied. When you throw in the um, buns in the air fryer, make sure it's about like 180 because they're starting to crisp up. So I need to bring the heat down so that way have, they have more time to defrost. So I'm just letting you know. Uh, yeah, so we have pickles. If you guys don't like pickles, of course, scrap it. Um, one tomato, we're just gonna slice it up. I'm gonna use like two slices out of it. And look what I found. I want to do a turkey burger that's protein style, but that's not going to happen because I'm already heating up the bun. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of uh, spread this apart and I'll just use it on it. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm just waiting on the burger, which it looks like it's close to being done. And then this, all I put on it is on the bun, I put mayo, mustard, ketchup, and then I do the burger. I do some lettuce, about two tomatoes, put them on a napkin and let them absorb, let the napkin absorb some of the moisture if you don't want your bun to get too soggy. And then um, I do pickles. And if you guys don't like the pickles or the tomato or you wanna add cheese, I'm not the biggest fan of cheese, but then you can add that to it. Um, you know what's funny is like, I wasn't hungry before, and then now that I start cooking, I'm like, damn, I am really hungry. Mm. Bomb. You know what it's missing? And I completely forgot about it. Onion. Damn, that's all right. That's all right, I didn't even think about it, but. You see me making like a owl face? It's because it's still hot. <laughs> I didn't give the burger time to cool down. So now every time I bite into it, it's just like, and I keep getting it like stuck on my teeth because gluten-free buns can be a little bit more the texture is like gooey in a way. That's why I toast mine um, to get rid of that, that texture, but it still gets really, really stuck to your teeth. It reminds me of like back when I had braces, how everything would get stuck. So just be a little careful with that. Not to toot my own horn, but beep beep. That's bomb. All right. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna right away get started so I'll see you guys in like two seconds. But yeah, we're gonna finish this, try this, make it easy, simple. So I completely cut out why I'm not um, doing <laughs> this clip like I was doing the other ones. It's because I get super nervous when my husband gets home so like I cannot record in front of him. Like I can't talk to the camera, it makes me so nervous. So <laughs> this is gonna be kind of like every other video, we're just gonna kind of talk through it but I put chicken in a pot and I let it boil for about two, three, four hours, depending on when it's able to be shredded. So just make sure you can shred it. And then I heat up a few tortillas. I add some seasonings to it. I'll link the seasonings down below. 
Um, I want to say it's like Lowry's All Seasoning or Seasoned Salt, and then there's the garlic salt from the same company. So it's, I want to say it's those two. And then I do lemon pepper and I think bay leaves, but like I said, I'll link it all down below. And then when I heat them up, I put them in the air fryer and I spray them with some spray. And right here it shows 250, but I did it to 300 because they weren't crisping up enough. But these are them. I was supposed to make guac and stuff, but I didn't have any onion because that's why I didn't go on the burger. But we had some extra in there. So there you go. Enjoy. So I'm going to film the outro now just in case my husband gets home and then I can't film it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.